Ceiling heights are important no matter how tall you are. When you walk into a room, the ceiling height can create the wow factor or not. Today, I'll tell you one important feng shui concern you should think about before building or choosing a home with much higher ceilings. And I'll give you three feng shui solutions. Susan Chan here, feng shui realtor based in New York City. Did you know that the standard ceiling height in homes used to be eight feet and for good reasons? People were a little shorter in older times. Timber was generally cut to eight feet lengths, so it's efficient use of materials. And due to oil shortages in the 70s and 80s, homes with lower ceilings were less to heat. In newer homes though, nine foot ceilings and higher have become the standard. Pair those high ceilings with floor to ceiling windows and you have feng shui disaster potentially, but that's why I'm here. Here's the one main feng shui reason you should think carefully before choosing higher ceilings in your next home. When you enter a home with high ceilings, it can be beautiful, but then your energy goes whoosh up and it's gone, making you feel ungrounded and scattered. That's not how you want to feel in a space where you're spending the majority of your time working, relaxing, and sleeping. Feng Shui is all about how you feel when you enter a room and you want to feel the best that you can. Here are three Feng Shui design solutions that can help the potential high ceiling issue. One, hang lighting lower than you think you should hang it and go one step further and choose down lighting versus up lighting. Lowering everything downward will trick your energy into staying grounded. Two, hang artwork as close to eye level as possible. I know it's tempting to design up when you have all that space, but when you're constantly looking up, you won't feel grounded. And three, ground the space with heavier furniture and a large rug. That's a way to trick your eyes and energy to stay nearer to the ground versus floating around and feeling ungrounded. And here are some examples. High ceilings are beautiful in interior design magazines, banks, and places that you're not living in or sleeping in over a long period of time. If your high ceiling home needs grounding and focus, use these three feng shui tips to help create the calm and supportive sanctuary you deserve. Did you like this video? Please share with your friends, subscribe, or leave a comment or question below. Remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. And tune in next month for more feng shui real estate tips.